Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. I hope you're having a great week so far. Today's Clean and Gratefully motivation is a cozy after dark clean with me. I had to do a few things anyway, so I thought I'd bring you along with me and I hope you enjoy this one. I'll show you in a minute how I clean my cleaning rags. I have a special technique that always gets them clean and smell free, even in the high efficiency washing machines. And you see here, I'm still being careful with my pack using my grabber so that I don't have to hinge at the waist because that puts a lot of pressure on my lower back. I have an update to share with you on my back and my feet, so let's get started and I'll get to that in a little bit. Now that the clothes are switched from washer to the dryer, I'll add my dirty cleaning rags to the wash with a Tide Pod. I don't put any fabric softener in here for my dirty rags and I always wash them in hot bulky water. I changed the setting to bulky. This simulates the old washing machines where it fills the tub with water. It's designed for rugs and comforter comforters and blankets and bulky items like that, but I use it even for a small load of dirty dish rags and cleaning rags all of my microfiber and my kitchen towels. And I say it fills up with water, but it only goes to the top of the load, so it's still water saving compared to the old washers. Now onto the kitchen. I need to unload this dishwasher and load it. Scott is traveling today, so I have a little time before he gets home tonight to do a few things and straighten up. You got something, something I can never be without, yeah. I'm in your coming. Thought I was a man of my own world It's been two years I'm only a shadow of the good on me now A breeze in my ear Cause you know I cannot see no here are the taco holders that I'm so excited about. If you follow me over on Instagram, you've already seen these. I'm on Instagram at cleaning gratefully. Please follow me over there. I bought these from Amazon. I actually got them to go in Scott's stocking for Christmas. He loves Mexican food and I love gadgets like these. So it's, it was like a gift for both of us. I love how colorful these are and they are microwave safe and dishwasher safe, which I love. They're linked below in the description box. My my grabbers that I use in the laundry room are also linked in the description box for you. I like to share things that I love with you guys and either to get them for yourself or as a gift. I'm just giving you some ideas. Our sweet friend and neighbor Maddie gave us this lantern for Christmas. Isn't it pretty? You guys know I had my nice light up snow globe with the nativity scene on the island for all of Christmas season so it was nice to have something to replace that with. Scott usually puts our coffee mugs out for the next day and our coffee pods and he drinks uh, two cups of coffee in the morning and I only drink one and we each have our favorite kinds and so but he's not here to do that for us so i'll do it and when he gets home he can just relax and we can catch up and he won't have to do this okay now on to the bedroom let me close our blackout shades and then close our blackout curtains we like it dark in here for sleep time and i have some clean laundry to fold on top of the bed here and then i have some clean sheets on here that i'll put on the bed after that Here, 
but I'm blessed Didn't know it take me past my destiny You're behind me with the rest Cause I'm a mess No I'll pick up this dryer sheet with my toes so I don't have to bend over anything to save my back and then I'll spray some Lysol on the quilt and blanket since I didn't get a chance to wash those today. Does anyone else use Lysol to freshen blankets, furniture, and pillows? Lysol is my friend. I re I've loved it for a lot of years. And speaking of my back, let me give you a little update. I know you guys have been asking how I've been doing, praying for me, and always checking in on me, so I really appreciate it. I want to give you an update here. So I've had, and for those of you who are new here, I'll give you a little background. I've had upper back pain. It's mainly on the left side. Lower back pain, and also when I walk, I have right hip pain, and both my feet hurt as well. So all of this pain baffles the doctors and I have seen many of them. I've been to the podiatrist and the ortho doctor and a rheumatoid arthritis doctor and several visits to the family practice and a neurosurgeon. And actually the neurosurgeon saw a herniated disc on my upper back and said he could do a pretty invasive surgery to fix it, but it may not fix my hip and feet pain. And since I'm walking slow because of my hip and feet pain and I really want to walk normal, I'm hesitant to do that surgery. Um, I want to find out what the problem is with my hip and back pain. So I went to a doctor about my hip to see if we can narrow down on that problem because I hadn't really focused on that until now. He used an ultrasound to guide um, a steroid shot into the front of my hip and that has helped a little. That was a couple weeks ago and I'd say maybe about 10% I feel better overall and I'm thankful for that. Um, the next step is he's going to do an MRI of my right hip and that's at the end of the month and we can see if that shows anything. And I guess the other thing we could do is continue to do those steroid shots to see if multiple shots may help. I had a steroid shot in my SI joint area. Um, I guess it was probably like a month and a half ago and that really didn't do a thing. So I am kind of impressed that this hip steroid shot has helped a little bit. So I'm thankful for that. You can tell I'm walking slow and hobbling, even though this is sped up for YouTube speed cleaning, but um, I appreciate y'all being patient with me and always checking in on me and asking how I'm doing. And so I wanted to share that update with you all. You are like my family and I'm so thankful for you and I love all of your comments. Anyway, 2023 is going to be a great year. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was a short one, but I have also noticed that it's probably good for me not to overdo things. So I kind of took it easy and just got a few things done. I hope that encourages you to, to get, you know, what you can done. Um, and it's not, you know, like I got to clean the whole house. I got to spend all day Saturday. I can just get a few things done after dark and feel good about waking up in the morning and having some coffee. Thanks again, guys. I love you all so much. I hope you have a great rest of the week and I will see you again on Tuesday. Bye. If I can't be with you, I'd rather be by.